Tony and Lauren Dungy, parents of 11, use Bible studies with faith and family to lead people to a higher purpose. You maybe know Tony Dungy for his successful career as a football coach, getting into the Colts Hall of Fame, and also his commentary on Sunday Night Football. But he and his wife, parents of 11, are looking to do something more, encouraging you in a new book to see yourself as an influencer. But not an influencer like this world, not selling your body to try to make money, not leveraging your followers to try to retail them, but, but actually seeing yourself as an influencer in times of trouble, in times of trial. Tony Dungy said something in this book that, that, that really resonated with me. This idea that the world looks at us as Christians more when we are in defeat than we're in triumph. How you lose graciously is far more important than how you win successfully. And he said that well, we can have a witness for the Lord, we can influence for the Lord more when we are defeated than when we are winning. Psalm 87, he has set his foundation on the holy mountain. Tony said that his more important in his life, and I think ours as well, that people would see us modeling our life around Christ and our behavior around Christ, especially when we lose, to lose graciously, to lose humbly, to admit it's not all about me. Easy to do that when you're winning. I give all praise and testimony to Jesus. Well, that's easy because you feel good, right? But when you're losing, when others are winning, when evil seems to be winning, to set your foundation on the word of the Lord, to set your life on God, to say it doesn't matter if my contract get renews or I get, I get the scholarship or I get the job or I get the relationship or I get all what I want, my will, but to build my foundation on him and him alone. And regardless of how the world says or thinks, that's what I need. Th thank you, Coach Dungy, for this advice and this encouragement. May we, you and I look to the scriptures, look to God's word, Psalm 87, for this comfort to set our foundation on him, which will never be shaken, never be moved. The world will always change. You'll be up, you'll be down. But with Jesus, with God, you've got a firm foundation for eternity.